Hello and welcome to the step-by-step -step configuration tutorial of the Echometer S. We begin by plugging the USB cable of the monitor into the power adapter, which we then plug into the outlet. In the first and second steps of the Echo Monitor setup, we will set the time in hours and minutes. Adjust the current number with the up and down buttons and press enter to confirm. In step 3, we select our type of tank that we will install the echometer on. While tank A is a rectangular or cylindrical tank with height H, tanks B and C are ellipsoid or rectangular tanks with rounded edges with height H and width W. After this, we set the maximum tank volume, which is either written on your tank or on your tank manual. Adjust by using the up and down arrows and press enter to save. In steps 5 and 6, we set the tank height and width in centimeters depending on our type of tank. Again, adjust by using the up and down arrows and press enter to confirm. Step 6, that is setting the width, is specific to tank types B and C only. In step 7, we set the offset for the cistern, which corresponds to the distance in centimeters from the maximum fill level to the mounting position of the sensor. The tabs on the right and left of the rocket serve as reference points. Then we set the outlet height, which defines the dead water volume in the tank. This height corresponds to the vertical distance between the bottom of your tank and your water outlet, shifting the 0% level up or down. Next, we can use the up and down arrows to select whether the low level audible alert is to be turned on or not. In this case, we're turning it off. Before we finish the setup, we have the option to clear all our parameters and restart the process. If you would like to finish, press the button Setup on the right to start the calculation. We will now pair the configured monitor with our rocket sensor. If you see this screen, your echo monitor now is in learning mode. Clip the screw hole on the left side of your echo meter into the alignment pin on the right side of the monitor's base. The bars on the monitor will flash and begin to increase, rising from 1 to 10 bars. Hold the echometer in place until all bars are flashing and the monitor makes an audible beep. You have now successfully paired your monitor with your sensor and can start measuring. Immediately after pairing, the echometer has activated the fast mode for 10 minutes, meaning that it's measuring a value every second. Choose a target and move the sensor toward and away from the target and watch the bars on the monitor change in accordance to this movement. Make sure to install your sensor on the tank while the fast mode is activated, so within the first 10 minutes after pairing, as long as the red dot on the monitor is blinking every second. For more information, check out the instruction guide provided with your Echometer S. For further questions, check out esensorgscom FAQ. Congratulations! You have now finished the configuration of the Echometer S. For more information about our products, visit www.esensorix.io.